All right, everyone, this is just a little problem I've been having with my, I'm just going to go on and say it, it's a piece of shit. My shit box 360, it pissed me off today. As you would tell, if you watched my video from yesterday, I had a video uploaded by Graw. And, you know, as you can, I wish I, wish I could have put my Xbox in here, but it's, what it's like a Wi-Fi, I have to keep it in another room. Which I'm gonna get on that touch a little later about how the 360 somehow lost my gra file and I had to start all over with the boring ass um training missions again, which I did twice because I had to go back and do them again because somehow it lost my save file. I think because when you know, because for some reason Xbox isn't like PlayStation Network where you have two users where you create a user then which holds all your save files and stuff. Which is separate from your online ID. With Microsoft Xbox, I think it's all in one. So if you somehow just get this next friend Xbox Live, you're going to be totally at your main menu of your game. And if you didn't save, then you're screwed. And somehow, I don't know how this affected me because I signed on Xbox Live deliberately on purpose. I just did it and somehow my Graw file is gone. It's been like that with my Gears of War as well because I just lost that. Too, and I'm thinking about trading Gears War 1 in because of that shit. Because I don't feel like doing all those five chapters over again. I don't know what is with their Xbox, but they need to do something with PlayStation done with their user and, user and online thing being different instead of being your Xbox Live ID all in one. So if you so if you decide to bring your Xbox Live Xbox or another friend's house or something, you ain't gonna be able to access your save data because it's linked to your Xbox Live account for some fucking reason. You have to be online. Just to access your save files on PlayStation, you don't have to do that. The only game that I could think that would lock, that would sign you out when you're playing off, when you're playing not online, is Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. That because it's recording your own um, stuff as you play chapter challenge, it's recording things and stuff like that. But you could easily, you know, get rid of that as well. If you, I just sign out and not choose sign in when I pop that game in but that's the only game I can think of in a PlayStation that does that as of late d late but for some reason I've been having this problem I'm wondering if there's a way I can work around it if you guys know because right now I'm fucking pissed and I don't feel like playing that game anymore man it's just for it's just ridiculous how you can have two separate files you know just like the PlayStation you got the user then your user can sign in your user is a different name from your online ID in it by the way but it's about live it's not like that now that's where Sony really 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 did a great job but for some reason I don't get why Microsoft didn't come up with that simple idea because that shit pisses me off because if I sign out I lose all my save stuff. Or if I just get signed out by accident, I lose all my save stuff, which is BS. So just help me out, man. That's really, this is a fucking problem. I fucking hate dealing with this. I fucking hate it. It just pissed me off, and I gotta play Grog again from the beginning. I'm just lucky I didn't get real, real, real deep into the game. Well, I'm at the last mission or something. Or I'll really be pissed off. I'll be like, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to finish the game my own time. Which I'm going to do now. I'm not even going to try to finish the whole game today. I'm just going to finish it at my own pace. I'm not even going to rush through it. It's BS, man. I'm out.